praise in my heart. All I did all night long on my knees, did not stand, did not lay on my knees, was to praise him. Have you ever been in the place where before you ask God to do more, you remember what he has done already? And something within you tells you, the one who brought me this far will not leave me now. I'm here to say, you will get where God said you will get. The Lord brought you this far. He will not leave you. Somebody help me say, Ebenezer. This far, the Lord has kept me. This far, his grace was manifested. This far, the Lord protected me. He will not leave you. I'm speaking to somebody who's going through trial and tribulation. He will not leave you. Winds may blow. Waves may come. But God will remain faithful to his word. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I shall be with you every day till the end of time. Is there somebody who can join me in a 60 second praise? Give him the loudest praise you have. Give it to him. Hey! Hey! I don't know about you. Praise him. Praise him. Worthy. The Lord is worthy. He's a good God and we bless his name. Hallelujah. Now the Lord bless you. Please have a seat if you have one. God bless you. It is an awesome privilege to be here and be the servant of the Lord and serving you today. Allow me to remind you that uh, in about two weeks or so, we will have the IVP international visitors programs there are thousands of people that will come from across the globe i want you to also be part of it don't be in the house where many are coming from all over the world to drink from your well and that you are not part of it i beseech you family please make sure that you register to be part of the ivp this coming ivp is the second edition of the gtg the gtg gift transferring gathering. God will bless you. Two things will happen. First, you will be a beneficiary of the gift of God, meaning if you are sick, the gift of healing will work for you. I believe in miracles. How many of you believe in miracles? I do believe in miracles. So if you are sick, the gift of healing will work for you. If you are broken, God will restore you. If you're bound, you'll be set free. And the second thing that will happen, you'll become a recipient of the gift. You will carry the gift of God. This simply means that uh, you will prophesy, you will heal the sick, and so forth. It's not only for pastors, for all of us. I want you to please register. And uh, if you register, make sure that uh, you have fulfilled the requirement of the day. And that uh, the Lord will bless you in that. We had, I think, two weeks ago, a presentation here from the NEF on the third service, the Solomonic uh, Generation. We believe that uh, there are certain things that uh, we have to do together as a church, as a community, to assist each other. And that, that is especially with regard to work, to business, and to finance. So, we will have, we had an open, and I called you to please come in partnership with the NEF, which is the National Empowerment Fund. We had called that uh, you may bring your project. And I uh, will say project from uh, one rand to 75 million rand. I want you to have the 75 million rand injection in your business. Therefore, please come, come up with your project, drop it in the office, make it sound. And please understand, the church 
as a church has no other interest in your business except to see you grow. The church has no cut on it. The church does not need anything from you. Zero. Just want you to be well. So we're trying as much as we can to push you um, to the next level. And I also want to say, please note that uh, I'm not announcing that uh, the church will be distributing 75 million rand to whosoever will. No. It's just to say that uh, the NEF with the church or the church bringing the NEF wants you to tap into the institution and the opportunities that is already made available by the government. So if you come up with uh, a sound project, they will fund you. And I tell you, if your project is sound, they will fund you. If they don't like it, I'll kneel down. I'll pray and they will fund you. <laughs> you. You just have to make sure that uh, your project is sound. And the good news is that uh, if it's not sound, they will help you have it sound. If we can have a thousand of you getting good project out there, we'll create employment, we'll create wealth in the body of Christ, and we'll do it correctly. With that, God will be glorified. Amen. I want you to please stand up and lift your hand one more time. We want to give you glory, Lord. We want to give you thanks because you are God. There is none like you, O oh God. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. As we have gathered today, Lord, we pray. Lead us and bless us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your right hand as high as you can. Father, bless us. Bless your word, O oh God. I pray, O oh Lord. May this word change and transform us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Remain standing. God spoke to me that this week, and this weekend specifically, is our weekend of victory. We will engage in spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare. And God say, we will win. We will have victory. As a child of God, please understand, you do not fight for victory. You fight in victory. Meaning before the battle begins, you are already declared the winner. This is why we believe that we are not conquerors. We are more than conquerors. Am, am I speaking to somebody here? But you've got to understand that oftentimes the things that God has for you does not come to you just like that. It is given to you free of charge. But you have to tap into it yourself. Water is free. Rivers are there. But if you want to get wet on that river water, you have to jump into it. You won't say that the God has given us water for free, but you are dying of thirst. Go and get your water. Today I'm saying God has given you victory. Go and get that victory in the name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please have you see it. The Lord bless you. I read with you from the book of Matthew, chapter 9, verse 32 to 34. Matthew 9, Three verses that speaks of three important things, three lines that we can follow. As they went out, they speak of Jesus and his entourage. Jesus 
and his disciples. As they went out, behold, they brought to him. The second day speaks of people around. Speaks of people with an impediment. People in need. Was it a community? Was it just a section of the crowd? Was it a family? Whatever it may be, it was in day. They brought to him. Him here is Jesus. Who was part of the first day. Is a singled out now. They brought to him. Jesus. A man mute and demon poses. They brought to him. A man who had two problems. Or had a problem in two dimensions. Physical and spiritual. Visible and invisible. There is no better representation of our problems, our trials day to day than this one. Many of us have the same trial, the same impediment, both in the spiritual realm and in the physical realm. Anyone who has an understanding of the things of the spirit will agree that if you are defeated up there, you will be defeated down here. So whatever affects you in the spiritual realm will be seen in the natural realm. People who are struggling oftentimes in the day-to-day, you see them on Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The reason why many of them are struggling the way they're struggling is because something is not right spiritually. You must understand, family, that the visible world is nothing but the reflection of the spiritual realm. If the spiritual world is well, the physical world will be well. That's why I encourage you, you will take two hours on the mirror fixing your lipstick. It is good to do so, but your lipstick may be well until spiritually your lipsticks are good. The lipstick on the natural realm will not really bring you joy are you hearing me so instead of wasting your time only in the natural realm please start investing your time also in the spiritual realm when somebody spends time praying such a person is spending time in the spiritual realm that's why on the day today he will always have victory I love the example of the ministry of Jesus Christ. The Bible shows that uh, early in the morning before dawn, he will be in the presence of God. He started his days before the day started. This is Jesus Christ. He will start his days before the day starts in the presence of God. And while now the day breaks and he goes and walks like every man, he was different. Why? Because he started it in the spiritual realm. He aligned things in the spiritual realm in so much so, so much so that when he came to the natural realm, it was easy. You will notice that he literally never prayed for people. He healed them. He literally distributed miracles. Your faith has made you well. Stand up and walk. It is well with you. That's why he did in the natural realm. Why? Because in the spiritual realm, he was aligned. If you win in the spiritual realm, you will win in the physical realm. It doesn't matter, family, how many people like you or not. How many people stand against you or not. If you win up there, you will win down here. Oftentimes we cry. We want to commit suicide because some people do not like us. Let me tell you, no matter what you do, there will be people who will agree with you. There will be people who will disagree with you. No matter how good you are, there will be people who will embrace you. There will be people who will reject you. There will be people who will applaud you. And there will be people who will throw sand on you. There will be people who will hate you. There will be people who will love you. Look at Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ on earth was the highest expression of perfection. 
there was in him no fault. But yet, they called him a sinner. They called him a demon-possessed man. If they did so to Jesus, how much more with you? So instead of trying to fit in, getting them to love you, to fall for you, I want you to focus in the spiritual realm and begin to work your miracle up there. If you will get it up there, you will enjoy it down here. If you will get it up there, you will enjoy it down here. Here, I have news for you. The Lord has mandated me to hold your hand and help you get it up there so that on Monday you may enjoy it. On Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you may enjoy your miracle. I don't know who I'm saying I'm speaking to, but if it is you, I want you to have a servant. Please have a seat. This man had a challenge that he's seen in two different levels. Spiritually, he was bound. Physically, he was mute. He could not utter a word. He could not speak. He might be able to make sound. But his sound was not comprehensible. He could not communicate. Not because he had a physical impediment. That he was born with uh, some uh, malfunctioning organs. No. His problem was that spiritually he was bound. I have come across many people. You look at them, everything is well. They are courageous. They want to make it. They have a big vision, a big dream. And they set themselves to do great things. But when you consider their lives, nothing good happens to them. They constantly live in a near success syndrome, as soon as they are about to get it, something pulls away. The joy is always cut short. The excitement in their heart, I'm about to get married. This one maybe is the one. Oh, my job is coming. The tender is coming. The project, I'm waiting for a payment. It never materialized. They may be in the place of blessing. But they will never enjoy the blessing. The problem is not often on what they are doing in the natural realm or not. Oftentimes, family, the problem is in the spiritual realm. If you will deal with it up there, you will enjoy it down here. Are you hearing me? I have seen people well educated but no job. Great ambitions but going nowhere. Beautiful like the sun but alone going through winter alone <laughs> nobody knows the trouble i've seen <laughs> I... but all that is about to change in a moment i say all that is about to change in a moment who am i talking to i say all that is about to change in a moment there is always a moment of joy, a moment of blessing, a moment of breakthrough. All that is about to change in a moment. Have a seat. Hear this. As I went out, behold, they brought to him a man mute and demon possessed. This man's problem was in the spiritual realm. But what was the problem in the spiritual realm? His problem in the spiritual realm was that he had a devil. He was demon possessed. What is a demon possessed? For you to understand a demon possessed, you must quickly have a clear mind and understanding of what is a demon. A demon is a fallen angel, once given an opportunity to serve God, but uh, fallen in uh, the trap of the enemy, fallen in deception, they have been cast out. Therefore, they are known as fallen angels. You got to keep the word angels because they were angels of God. One third of the angels of God had fallen with Satan. They had fallen in the deception of Satan. In a bracket, think with me. What could Satan say to them that made them choose him rather than the God they saw in his glory? Did Satan speak to the angels of God and convince them that God was a better choice, a worse choice? He was a better choice? 
They saw God in his glory, but they still fall for him. That's why, let me tell you, be careful. Be careful. If a pastor of your church, somebody watching me, is being now painted evil. Mind who is painting him evil. Mind. Not two angels left. One third of the angels of God followed Satan. Some people are watching me now. You, you have followed Satan simply because he carried the Bible. You got to be careful. What is it that Satan spoke to the angels? You see, angels see God in his glory. It's different than you and I. What is it that he told them that one third said, mm -mm, we don't want God, we want you. The Bible said, rebellion is like witchcraft. Witchcraft. So, a demon is in a fallen, a fallen angel who has capacity no longer to serve God, but to serve Satan, the master. And the devil comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. This implies even demons come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So, this man was a demon-possessed man. Now, what is a demon-possessed man? A demon-possessed man is somebody who is completely under the control and the influence of the fallen angels, demons. Such a person is captive. Such a person is captive. Now, there are people who are demon possessed in every layer of society. Meaning this, there is no stature of man that will prevent demon by itself, that will prevent demon to stay away from you. There is no stature on earth by itself, that will prevent demon from taking hold of you. You may be a great leader. You may be a good singer, a good soccer player, a good father. You may be a professor, a lawyer, a judge. If you have a case and the judge is demon possessed, you're in trouble. Meaning this, there is no position, arena in life, statue, that by itself will prevent the devil from touching you. Meaning the devil will not say, that, oh, this one is a lawyer, I cannot come to him. Let me go to the, no, it can go to anybody. One of the greatest questions that has always been in the body of Christ is, this man was demon possessed, but can a child of God be demon possessed? Can a child of God, a born again child of God be demon possessed? To this question is yes and no. It depends on what you call demon possessed. If demon possessed simply means this man has a devil in him. Yes, a child of God can have a devil in him. Mm -hmm. But if you will say demon possessed here means a legal term that you are under the control or you are a property of a devil then a child of God cannot be demon possessed because you can no longer be possessed by any other but your God. We are possessed by God. For a child of God, when a devil is oppressing you or is attacking you, it is illegal. That's why you need to use force to get him out. You need to know your right and enforce what God has said. It's like having a tenant whose lease expired, but he does not want to go. Have you ever heard a story of a tenant that is there who's supposed not to be there? Demons are like that. He's a tenant with an expired lease, but because it's not law abiding, such a person or such a devil say, I'll still be here. Now, in our, in our society now, when you have, oh, you're facing this uh, kind of situation, what do you do? You go to court and get what? An eviction order. And if it's not working, bring the red or the yellow end. <laughs> Somebody holler by fire, <laughs> by force. <laughs> you see, oftentimes in our lives, this is how the devil operates. I hear many people falling in the 
trap of the enemy. There are two philosophies that the devil keeps on pushing, even in the church. The first one is, I don't exist. Never mind me, I don't exist. Because most of the time, if you believe that it doesn't exist, it will beat you, you will attack someone else. You will not know what to address because you think it doesn't exist. This is one of the greatest lies of the devil. The second lie and deception is, I exist, but never mind me because I, I, I can't do you no harm. And you hear people, even on the stage and ministers who stand and tell you, well, since you gave your life to Jesus Christ, you have no devil problem. Now, theory, in theory, it's true. Because the day you, left, you gave your life to Jesus Christ, you have no sickness problem also. You have no poverty problem also. But when you're pushing that uh, you have no problem, you broke. You have big glasses because you can't see without it. But Jesus Christ died so that you may be well also. If it is true with demons, it's supposed to be true with your finance. It's supposed to be true with any part of life. As a child of God, you must know. Satan has already been dealt with. But now what you need to do is enforce what the Lord has done. That's why he say, behold, I give you authority. He would have never given us authority if it was not useful. He knows that we will need to use authority. Therefore, he say, I give you authority to trample the serpent, the scorpion, and over all the power of the enemy. This is absolute truth. You got to know it. Because when the devil knocks your door at night, pastor is not there, the choir is not there, the church is not there, you as a child of God, you must know your right. You must arise and say, devil, wrong address. I'm a child of God. I know my right. And in the name of Jesus, I command you to go. You will have to do so to enforce that which the Lord your God has given you. The Bible says, and this is what we like, but not understanding it fully. You shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Many of us, when we relate to this verse, we think that just knowing that the devil is defeated is enough. You shall know the truth. When I talk about you shall know the truth, it's not you shall be informed of the truth. To know the truth and to be informed of the truth are two different things. You shall yada the truth. You shall have an experience with the truth. You shall encounter the truth. And the truth you encountered is the truth that will set you free. There must be an experience. Just being informed of that does not do. Well, you, you are in the city and you've been informed that there are thieves here and those thieves are supposed not to come close to you. Is it enough to keep them away? You just getting info, information that here there are thieves. And these thieves, by law, are supposed not to take your goodies. Do you think that uh, thieves will stop stealing because they know it's wrong? You gotta be able to protect yourself and enforce it. Family, this man was mute because he was demon possessed. And when the demon was the brought to Jesus Christ, and when the demon was cast out, the mute spoke. They brought him to Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ did one thing that the church of God today have to do more and more. Cast him out. Cast him out out the bible said jesus christ saw him and he commanded that devil to go and when the devil was cast out when speaks of the time when that devil was cast out the mute spoke the result the miracle took place simply because the devil left some of you poverty is leaving you today once that devil leaves you, that oppressing devil leaves you, your money will come. Uh, some of you, that child you've been waiting for for years is not coming. But once the devil leaves, that child will manifest. All he did was to cast out devils. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to teach here. He 
commanded the devil to go. He followed Jesus Christ, our model, our example, commanded devils to live in his ministry. How much more you and I? Not casting out devils does not make you civilized, good, up. It makes you nonsense. I tell you, not casting out devils will cause them to cast you out. The reason why people today live in the past is because they do not understand spiritual warfare. You got to fight the battles. You will start living in the past. I tell you, in the entire township, I was the first to drive a Mercedes. Oh, well, there are new Mercedes every year. Why aren't you getting one now? Because you see, when you used to have it, you did not know what to do to keep yourself in the same track. The devil commanded you to get out of prosperity. Now you are broke so bad. Are you hearing me? Jesus Christ commanded the devil to go. Today, you will command that devil that has been released to attack your finances, your family, your health. You will command that devil to leave you today. You have authority. Somebody say, I have authority. You will command that devil to leave your marriage, to leave your children, to leave your family, to leave your finances. And that devil will leave today in the name of... As soon as the mute began to speak, the multitude marveled, saying, it was never seen like this in Israel. May has prophetically release a word that I will take you to where God wants. The multitude said, they have never seen such in Israel. Meaning, the miracle that took place had no reference. No one before ever seen that. I am trying to lay the platform for what God intends to do for you. There is a miracle that God has assigned for you. Such miracle has no reference. Get ready for a new miracle. Get ready for the unseen in your life. Get ready because God is about to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you ask and hope for. I seal this in your life. A great miracle is about to happen to you. Oh, in your family, you'll be the first. In your community, you'll be the first. Among your friends, you'll be the first. Uh, if you have faith, may it manifest in your life. If you have faith, may it manifest in your life. In the name of Jesus. Now have a seat. We let carry on. It was never seen like this in Israel. But the Pharisees said he cast out demons by the ruler of demons. There is no greater problem in the body of Christ but the Pharisees. There is no greater problem. The Pharisees are a problem. The Pharisees say, they concluded, they had a verdict, they articulated it, they made it public, they were confident, they used their position and the credibility they had in the society. And they say, it is by demons that this man is casting out devils. What leads Pharisees to such conclusion? Maybe one, two, three, or four things. I will tell you about two or so. The first thing is ignorance. Some of them had good intention. They had never seen it. They had never experienced it. So they tagged it quickly because how can it be that you speak, a devil leaves, and a miracle takes place? Miracles will always go beyond our mind, our understanding. It keeps our mind going left and right. Is he tricking it? Is he staging it? How is he doing it? 
So ignorance is one of the first things that leads Pharisees to their conclusion. So if you found somebody on the stage speaking against the power God and speaking about miracles, I tell you clear, the possibility is he's still ignorant of that level. Are you hearing me? So it means that he may not be a bad man. I'm talking about Pharisees. Are you hearing me? Pharisees. Not everybody. It might be that such a person is ignorant of that level. It's not yet his revelation. One day it might become his revelation. And uh, his way of thinking will change. Saul persecuted the church. Because he was not yet in the revelation of Christ. Once the Holy Ghost met him and Christ appeared to him, he got the revelation. The same one who persecuted the church became Paul and he was pushing the gospel. The difference between the man before and the man after is knowledge to revelation. The man before was good intentioned, but he did not have revelation. The man after had revelation. Some people who today are standing against the power guard on the mic are the same people on the mic that will stand for the power guard when they grow. Mm -hmm. But hear this. The second thing that I will cause a Pharisee to stand against the power guard and call it demon is simply because of tradition. You see, to accept the new is very difficult because it, you have to shift. There is nothing that uh, stops the power guard in the church, in the body of Christ today, more than tradition. Oh, well, grandpa used to do it this way. We used to walk this way. This pastor is too loud. He's moving too much. He's supposed to be here. They put this thing for him to be here. Is not a law abiding pastor simply because of tradition. We want things to be done in a certain way, and if it is not in a certain way, we reject it directly. We say it is not God, it is demonic. So, tradition causes those are called Pharisees to reject the power of God. The third thing that I may cause a Pharisee to his conclusion is because Pharisees to themselves had disqualified the ability of operating in that level. The fact that they will never be able to do so. So what will you tell people if you cannot do what is blessing them? What will you tell them? That it is good and you cannot do it? Naturally, it brings judgment. It means that you are not giving us the best. Are you hearing me? And that this is also one of the reasons why so many people today in the body of Christ are fighting the power of God. Simply because they think they cannot do it. I think they can do it if they align with God. But they think they cannot do it. And because they think that they cannot do it, they think it's too high. They want to throw dirt on anybody who is in that level. So to stop the client from the boutiques, oh sorry, from the church to go there. They're trying to save a market. And the Pharisees wanted to save a market. You, Pastor Af, you're coming, the power of God, you are messing up everything. We believe it's God. You want to go free? This was one of the reasons where they stood against Jesus Christ. They said to Jesus Christ, or they say about Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ operated with demons. One of my pastors called me very happy from Angola, Angola in Luanda and he said daddy you not believe this the entire week people are saying I operate with demons but he was saying that with joy <laughs> daddy <laughs> the entire week daddy everyone people are saying that that guy has demons operating he has power I was a little confused Confused why? Because of his joy. I say, and uh, you're happy? He said, Daddy, I'm like Jesus. If they have not said it about you, you have not started yet. 
They have not noticed you yet. If they say it for Jesus and they don't say it to you, you don't matter. He was happy. Then they say that, oh, this man, the way God, whatever he did, that miracle, mm -mm, it's not natural. So he was like a, The Lord is using me. God is about to do something that will astonish man through you. I don't know whose word is this one, but God is about to do something in your life that will astonish man. A miracle is about to come your way that they will investigate you over it. I, I, am I speaking to you? They will investigate you over it. They will say, how can it be that you are doing one, two, three. It cannot, it has never been seen before. God is about to astonish and shock the world with you. Today is your day of victory. But this victory will manifest as we begin to deal with things in the spiritual realm. And we deal with things in the natural realm. I want you to stand up and I want you to lift your hand. Whatever in the spiritual realm is holding your miracle, your blessing, we break it today in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody has come with pain in his body, but this pain is caused by an oppression of the enemy. As the oppression of the enemy will leave, the pain in your body will disappear. Your life is going nowhere. You try your best. Nothing materializes. You feel blocked and stopped. Hear me. That power of the enemy released to stop you, to block you, will be broken today. Your doors will be open again. You will walk free again in the name of Jesus. A lady was brought to me. This girl was working in a certain school in town. Lost the job. Went back to Limpopo because she was sick. She had HIV and the city for count was so low, it was the last. The doctors have said that uh, she should be taken to an hospice. But the man she reported to at work knew about us and decided to invite the family to come. He provided transport for her to come all the way from Limpopo to Johannesburg. She came to see us in the evening. And as she came with the family, she was half dead. Skin on bones, half dead. They brought her. She had a duke, and the eyes were so deep in, you could literally see the shape of her a scale. As she stood there with the family, mother holding here, auntie holding the, on the other side, and the father shaking his head, right in my small office those days, very small office, it was overcrowded. I was looking at her. And the Lord asked me to do two things. He said, first, ask the family to leave. I said to the family, ladies and gentlemen, will you leave? They said, no, we came from Limpopo. I said, I'm also from Limpopo. Just leave. <laughs> he said, just leave. So they left, but you could see they were so concerned of leaving the child behind. Because she could not really stand. She was there. They left looking back. And I closed the door. Two people in the room. Me and her. They had given up on her to die. Then the second thing the Lord asked me to do is look through her eyes. And as I looked through her eyes, I saw the eyes of a snake. This, this is a true story. I saw the eyes of a snake looking at me. As a you. <laughs> Hear me. The people that know their God, they shall be strong. They shall do exploit. I am bold in faith. I believe God. If the Bible is not true, my life is finished. I've built my life, my faith, my hope, 
my ambition on everything written, brick by brick, my life will be over if this God is not true. I know my game. I don't gamble. Mm -mm. If you don't believe me, ask your ancestor. The devil knows me by name. They, they know that you here. I'm not conventional. I'm not just a pastor. I'm a crazy man. Here. I remain with her looking through her eyes. I see the eyes of a snake. I say, I caught you. I say, in the name of Jesus. You false spirit. The blood of Jesus is against you. Leave! As I say that, she screamed. Now, there are times when you scream just because of pain. And there are times when you scream because you are excited. There are times when you scream because it's not you screaming. <gasps> As if something left. And literally, family, it looked like a life was leaving. And she started falling. Thank God. I ran and caught her, put her down. She was bringing... <gasps> Call the family. I said, you can come. Now here, it took two minutes. They just left. And all they heard, leave. And I opened the door. I said, come. Is there anybody who's ready for his miracle? I don't know who you are, but there is a miracle with your name on it. The family came back. They look up. She was down. Laying down. Breathing. <gasps> After considering what they saw. Together. Auntie. Granny. Mommy. And mommy's boyfriend. <laughs> because it wasn't a father. It was a boyfriend. They all turn. They say. What have you done? I said to them, she's well now. Take her back to Limpopo. And come to see me next week for your testimony. There was no need to lay hands and say, be healed, be healed. Not be healed there. The problem was not healing. The problem was a demon that had to be cast out. They had to carry her to this side. They're looking at me. Say, we came from Limpopo. Limpopo is far. We came here for two minutes. When we came, she could at least stand. Now we have to carry her. I say, go. My name is Aflukau. They went home. According to the report, on the way, she asked for water. They gave her water. They went to the next uh, few kilometers. She said, I'm hungry. <laughs> she has not eaten in a while by herself. They gave her a pie. She ate and said, I like this pie. Can I get another one? God is about to give you your pie. Your steak pie, your chicken pie, your mushroom pie. Somebody's about to get a pie today. You will get a pie today. She asked for a pie. And she slept again. The following day, she woke up with strength. She could stand, go out for tea. It took literally a few days before Sunday. They came. When they came, she was the one on the microphone. Testify. And here, what was impressive with her testimony is the way she started that testimony. You gotta have strength to do so. A duke, she had a duke because she had no hair left. 
This time, she did not have a duke. Small hair, but just like that, she was fine with herself. She came, she gave a testimony like we do it in Nigeria because I'm from Nigeria. So, you know when we do, praise the Lord! Now, you, you, you have to have strength. Your lungs must be good to begin like that. And I don't know where she heard that testimony or how to go about that. Because from Limpopo, you're doing it like Nigeria. I don't know the link, but I didn't ask. She said, Praise the Lord! Somebody, they will hear your praise. I said, they will hear your praise. You will praise him so loud. They will hear your praise. Who am I talking to? They will hear your praise. Those who mock you will admire you. They will hear your praise. For me, when I heard praise, I knew it is done. Hallelujah. God is giving us victory. Whatever the enemy brought to stop your progress must leave you today. Lift your hands. Mashayaba. Reketa. Take authority over every evil, every work of the enemy that is causing your pain, that is behind your impediment. Command that devil to leave you. Command that devil to leave you. Mare kashaya baba. Zete rekato. Command that devil to leave. Rama Mama, bring fire down. Zatara Babo. Lift your hand. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I take authority. Against every contrary spirit. In the name of Jesus. I command every demonic force. Released against me. To live now in Jesus name. Say, devil, the blood of Jesus is against you. I command you, leave my life, leave my family, leave my loved ones, leave my work, leave my finances. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, say, family spirit, I destroy you. Say, ancestral spirit, I destroy you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, every power of witchcraft, 
of wizard operating against my life. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. In Jesus' name. Spirit of stagnation. I destroy your power. Spirit of stagnation. Live my life. In Jesus' name. Spirit of no progress. Live my life. In Jesus' name. I decree, I declare. I am blessed. I am not cursed. I am blessed. Going out. Coming in. I am blessed. I am blessed in the city. I am blessed in town. I am blessed in the field. In Jesus name. Whatever my hand finds to do. Will prosper. In Jesus name. Sickness is not my portion. Disease is not my portion. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare. Divine health is mine. I decree and I declare. Divine health is mine. In Jesus name. I shall not die before my time. Every spirit of death. I destroy you. In Jesus name. I decree and I declare. I shall live. I shall declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. This is my year. I shall shine. This is my year. I have victory. This is my year. I will prosper. What is mine is coming to me. What is mine is coming to me now in Jesus name now carry on begin to pray speak to God seal these words over you seal these words Victory is ours. We win today. We win today. We win today. We win today. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory. Take both your hands and put them on your head. Say, I decree and I declare. It is well with me. It is well with me. Everything I do will prosper. I bless my life. I am blessed of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Now I want you to have a seat if you can. We... I want to have an opportunity to come and lay hands on one or two people, but we are still praying for Uh, uh, It's Mr. Chauke, right? This this is a great man. He's the advisor of our current president. And um, he's a child of God. So I I want to thank you for coming. And I want to pray that God may bless you. Um, whatever we do here, if be different, I want you to know it is the greatest anointing of God. And I pray the blessing. I want you to stretch your hands together and let's pray for this great man. It is a great honor to have him here. 
He has taken his time and he said, I'm coming to church. Mr. Chawuke, may the Lord bless you. May God fight the battles for you. May God go before you and make every crooked way straight. Today, as, a child, as child, children of God, as a church, we are declaring the blessings of God upon you. May the favor of God go before you. In the name of Jesus, may you win. In Jesus' name we pray. And together we say... God with us, reveal in us, your name is called Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Your name is called Emmanuel. Lift your hands. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Your name is called Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Your name is called Emmanuel. Zarabakolo Boshia Zetera Baba Bosha. As you lift your hands, his name is called Emmanuel, meaning God is with us. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I shall be with you every day till the end of time. May God meet you at the point of your need. God with us. Revealing us. Revealing us. Your name. Barababo será ba korobo shiara baba God is with us Zotorobo soyo May God meet you at the point of your name. Zambe nanga, Zambe nanga, Kuki Saman. Mm. Now, may the God I serve meet you at the point of your need. Mommy, will you stand? Come to me.
Ramasoyo Boshaya. Where are you from? Sorry? From Dallas, Texas. From Dallas, Texas. Yes, sir. You're from Dallas, Texas. Yes, sir. My daughter, where are you from? Yes, uh, come here. May God meet you at the point of your needs. May God do something for you. You are from Dallas. Texas. Texas. Yes, sir. All right. Barabashia. Garabasarabasete. Zerekete. You have your hand like this. You're looking at me. What's your name? You have your hand like this. Twelve years is a long time. Today, you are receiving that which God has in store for you. And you're not receiving it from a man, you're receiving it from God. So build your faith in God, even as I'm praying for one to two. Whoever I'm praying for, you can tap into his miracle. Barababo Soto. Bring it up. She, she has been tormented. She has been tormented. May you receive your deliverance. The Spirit of God is here, touching every man and every woman. Those who are in the auditorium, those who are in the extension, those who are in the basement, wherever overflow you may be in, may the Lord God we serve touch you. May God do something good with you. And may it begins now. All right. All right. Jesus Christ. You four spirit, leave her, leave her, leave her. Come out of her, come out of her, come out of her, come out of her. Get out! Stretch your hands toward her. Lord, 
Set her free. Mommy, please come. You say you are from Texas. Dallas, Texas. In Dallas. You came to church. That's all you came for. This is my first time here. It's your first time coming yes, to sir. church. Yes, sir. All right. It's your first time coming to church all the way from the United, United States, States of America. Yes, How sir. did you come to know about us? From YouTube. From YouTube. You've been yes. watching. Yes, sir. Are you blessed when you watch? Yes, man of God. Were you blessed? Yes, man of God. All right. This is good. I need to pray for you. But I need to pray for someone else through you. Yes, man of God. First, do you love prisons? I work in the prison. You work in a prison? Yes, man of God. Because I'm seeing you in a prison. I work in the prison, man of God. You work in a prison? Yes, sir. Do you know Dominic? He's my husband. I need Dominic here. Jesus. I need Dominic here. Jesus. It is not well with Dominic. It is not well. It is not well with Dominic. It is not well, sir. It is not well. It is not well. He's trying it his is best. Man of God, please, I need your help. It is not well at all. It is not well. Jesus. Baraba Soto. Soto. The Spirit of God is showing me a man. I am seeing both America and Nigeria. And the Lord is saying that this man must be here. Man of God is in Nigeria. Is there now? Where is he now? He's in Nigeria. Yes, sir. Things are tough. It is not well with him. But God has answered. God has answered your cry. May the Lord serve. Remember you and your house. Remember your family. I am declaring a turnaround, a turnaround, a turnaround. Everyone under the sound of my voice. A miracle is your miracle. She came all the way from Texas, Dallas, to, to AMI. If God could reach and speak to her from that far, may the same hand of God meet you and touch you in the name of Jesus. I am hearing Christ anointed. Yes. My Christ. husband is a pastor. It's the name of our ministry. That's the name of your ministry. Yeah. Christ anointed. Yes, Have you ever sir. spoken to me before? No, sir. This is your first time. Yes, sir. But hear this. Ministry is not well. No, sir. Nothing is working. Yes, sir. In America or in Nigeria, nothing is working. Nothing, sir. Things are tight. Very. It is well. It is well. May God give you victory today. God give you victory. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. 2010, sir. I had a vision about this ministry. God brought me here in 2010. I was in a dream. The same thing I'm seeing here in 2010. I saw this big screen. Big screen. The same thing. Everything. Everybody. Women and men of God. They were everybody coming. You call them. And their problem will show on the screen, Every, like your scan. Women were prophesying, and they were going through the root of their problem, and they were healing them, and they were healing them. And the Lord said, I will take you to, to that place. It's a point of contact. That was 2010. Yes, sir. Literally eight years ago. Yes, sir. You saw it in a vision. Yes, sir, in a dream. Did you know the name of the church by that time? No. You didn't know anything about even, the church? Even in the dream, they did not reveal. But I know everything I saw here was what I saw in the dream. You did not remember? 
So you did not even know where is a church in Nigeria, in South Africa. You didn't no, know. No, and I started praying, and I started praying, and I saw when I, I, I can, I come in contact with it in the YouTube. I say, this is it, and I saw. It, I say, that is the man of God I saw in the dream. My name is Aflokau. <laughs> From today, I'm putting a full stop in the sentence of your life. The sentence of pain stops now. A new sentence begins today. May this be the same for you. May you to receive the same grace. May you to receive the same miracle. I say, may you to receive it. Just as you have come, <laughs> tell your husband, <laughs> Dominic, yes, tell him I've been anointed for him. Amen. No matter what, no matter how hard it is, he has to come. Amen. Lift your hands. Father, do it now. <laughs> here it's not the first time because i see you are like the choir for how long have you been in church 2015 daddy have you ever spoken to me before no you have never spoken to me no. or because i don't want to say give you a word and simply because you're in a choir it uh, hurt somebody's faith somebody starts saying that uh, oh wow it's a choir as if i have lunch with all my choir we we'll need to have lunch then. You've been here since 2015. Have you ever spoken to me? No. You have not spoken to me. What's your name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth, as I call my precious daughter that just left now, coming, you were just behind. And I saw you moving in the Holy Ghost. There are people who are sensitive in the Holy Ghost. And it is easy to pray for them because they, they like dry sponge they can receive and swallow. Some people are like stone. It gives no, there is no drive to pray for them. You want to lay hands on them they, as if you want to push them down. But you see, I still pray for you, even if you are stone. But she, you, you have been already in the Holy Ghost. How many children do you have? I have twins. How many and children? I, Who do you have? Three I'm, boys and one girl. So it makes it four children. Yes. You have four children. Yes. Okay. And you say you have twins. Yes. That is the middle. The yes. middle ones are twins. Yes, daddy. Uh, is that twins? Twins are the middle ones. Yes. Because I'm seeing one, then I'm seeing the last. I'm seeing Amo. 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 Is that your last one? Is that your last one? Amo. The 20th oh. of December. That child was born on the 20th of December. Amo. And you say you have twins. Oh my God. You have twins. You see, when your time comes, your time has come. When your time comes, your time oh has God. come. Jesus. The 6th of May, you had twins. Oh, On the 6th of May. Oh my God. Mm. But you see, Prince is gone. Prince is gone. Ah! I have to do this. Prince is gone. He's a daddy of my kids, daddy. He's the daddy of your kids. Yes. He's the daddy of your kids. Oh my God. Keba Soto. But Mpo, Mpo, who, who is... Oh. 
He's not the daddy <laughs> of Paul. Born, daddy. He's your firstborn. He's your firstborn. Now, I want you to stand so I can do this quickly. And I, hear me, my daughter. I'm here to pronounce prophetically over your life oh my God. that your time of trial is over. I see you right now struggling. You are struggling. Since this man died, things have been tight. Things have been difficult. Just now, it will be one year or so since he's gone. And the things have been very tight. To eat is a problem. You are not working. Is that correct? Oh, Jesus. Whatever is blocked in your life, may my God open it up for you in the name of Jesus. I am seeing here a life that is blocked. And the enemies say you will not progress. Because even where you are staying, they sold the house. They sold the house. They are playing tricks on you. The enemy want to run you dry. But I am stepping in your battle today. I say, I am stepping in your battle today. May you receive your victory in the name of Jesus. May you receive your victory in the name of Jesus. Since you are too much in the spirit. It is well. Where is the lady I prayed for here? The one who was moving up and down here. There was a third person I picked there. Tom, stand up. You're there. Oh, gee. The Lord loves you. Are you hearing me? Satan has been stealing from you, especially from that womb. Are you hearing me? Come here. I stretch my hand for victory over you. I command sickness to go. Finance is tight. Business is going tight. Is that true? Indeed. Stand up. Touch my hand and get your freedom. Antoine. Finance is tight. But the Lord is saying, is opening it up. Follow Portuguese. Follow Portuguese? Falo, sim. Falo muito bem. Falo perfeitamente. Oh. Because I am seeing you in Mozambique. Certo. Certo? Verdade. Sim, estou a viver em Moçambique agora. Jesus. <laughs> I put myself in problems sometimes. All right, my Portuguese is finished. The second part of my Portuguese comes in the evening, not during the day. As I touch you, may the Lord as serve release your finances. In the name of Jesus, it is well. It is well. Stand up. What is it that you're showing me? All right, all right. Before you show me. You have this, you have this. You're looking for a job and you're not finding. You're looking for, but you have a creative mind. You, you have a creative mind. I'm an artist. You are an artist. Yes, but nothing. Your, your mind is good. Yes. But nothing is working nothing up, right? Is Please working. come. It will work. This is a well. This is a place to collect your miracle. I say you are getting what is yours today by fire. Now, can I deal with that devil that is stealing from your womb? I say 12 years is a long time. The enemy is stealing from your womb. Do you have a child? You don't. But even when you are pregnant, because I'm seeing you three months pregnant, and something came to steal that baby. Are you hearing me? Nothing stays here. I got miscarriage in April. You, you had a miscarriage in yes. April. Yes. It's been 12 months. 12 years. 12 years. Married. married, no child. Yes. Lawrence, where is your husband? He's at home. He's at home? Yes. Does he come to church here? Yes. But he chose not to come. Today he didn't come. But 
Today he did not come. He did not come to drop me. He just dropped you. Yes. I'm with my mother. Your mother will not give you a baby. Lawrence will give you a baby. It's okay. It's okay. Lawrence, wherever you are, as I pray for her, may the Lord touch you too. And may something good begin with you. Today in the name of Jesus. Do you believe if I pray for you, you will carry your babies? How many do you want? You waited for 12 years for two. No, I'll give you four. Take it. It's good. You have your four babies. May you two receive double. For every trouble of your life, may you receive double. Somebody had a RS7. Now, you say you wanted to show me something. Yes. I see a creative mind. Yes. And you say you are an artist. Yes. But for the two of you, nothing is working no. out. Not as a couple, but as people. Because I am seeing you in the Holy Ghost. I am seeing Durban and I'm seeing Johannesburg. Yes. I am seeing Durban, I am seeing Johannesburg. Yes. What Durban has to do with you? We, he, I used to live in Durban. He lived in Port Shepson. And then he moved to me. And then we All got... Right. You used to live in Durban. Yes. He was in Natal somewhere. No, no, no. He is from Durban, but he used to live. You also in... from Durban, yes. but you did not live in Durban. No. When you had fallen in love, you joined her. Yes. In Durban. Yes. But now you are leaving Durban. You came to Johannesburg. Yes. That's why I'm seeing Durban and I'm seeing Johannesburg. Yes. But since you have come, nothing is working. That's true. Everything is tied. Yes. I am seeing the tenth of August and I'm seeing the twentieth of March. Yes, yes, man of God. Yes. Yes, man of God. 20th of March. I am seeing the 20th of March and I'm seeing the 10th of August. That's true. Now, God is saying to me, have you ever spoken to me before? Never before. You've never spoken to me. Never. But you're speaking to me now. Yes. My name is Aflukau. <laughs> Lift your hand, somebody. You are receiving it by fire. Things are not working. You're trying to put your foot down to get your way out. But yes. everything is closed. Yes. You do not know how to live. Financially, it is tight. Is that true? There is no income at all. And there is no money at all. There is no income. There is no money. And I wanted to show you a home. You wanted to show me a home. home it's okay. Yes. Hear me. I stand as a servant of God and I pray for you I for those to open. Amen. Those will open. I receive it in when? Jesus' name. Now. Now. In you Jesus will name. see it before t this day is over. You will have your first breakthrough. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Come on. Hear me. This is what I want to... I'm saying it on purpose. Mm -hmm. Before this day is over. Amen. There will be money in your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If it is not so. Thank you, Jesus. If it is not so. God, I give Then you the glory. impossible has happened. I give you the glory, my King. Meaning this. Thank you, The Jesus. Lord has said it. If I say, I pray for you and I say that some days God will do it, it will look like random. I don't gamble. I say before the end of this day. Thank you, Jesus. Shall happen. Can, 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 Jesus I, can I go deeper? Man. Before 7 p.m. today, Come on. you are getting money miracles. I say before 7, whose word is this one? Who's getting this word? I don't know who I'm speaking to.
But if you have faith to receive, may you receive it in the name of Jesus. Before seven. See, I do it with boldness because I know my story. I know. You know. You know that I know my story? Yes, man of God. I know this girl. You are Alpha Leco. I am. (laughs) (laughs) Say it again. You are Alpha Leco. (laughs) Jesus, receive your financial breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, may the word come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Can, can I pray for? Can you touch my hand? Please come to me. I, I feel like laying hands on you. What's your name? John. Sorry? John. 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 John, J-O-A-N. John. All right, John. That, that's your name. Where are you from? Florida. Sorry? Florida. From Florida. But why is God taking me to Jamaica? I'm original from Jamaica. You are originally from Jamaica? Yeah. Is this your first time in Alleluia Ministries? Yeah, Friday. I came in Friday. You came on Friday. For the service, you were here. Yeah. You are f- from Florida. But God is taking me to Jamaica for Donovan. He's mentally disturbed. <laughs> and God is saying, you've been praying for Donovan. Yeah. Is he your brother? Yeah. Is he in Jamaica? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> As I'm standing and I'm seeing him there, okay. the Lord said that, that there is an oppressive spirit that needs to live. <laughs> and God is saying that, that if I will break that spirit, your brothers will be sound again. Thank you, Jesus. But as I come to America, I'm seeing a second problem. The one in prison. Since December. And the Lord is telling me in September, the judge will put the hammer down. There will be a sentence. And what I'm seeing in the spiritual realm is no good at all. Because you see, everything is pointing to him. They have let other go. Is that, co- is that true? They have let other go. It's like this young boy will pay the price. Will pay the crime of everybody else. Your son is not innocent fully. But the sentence that I'm seeing coming is not good. Yes. It is too harsh. Lift your hand, everybody. Say mercy. Somebody say mercy. You see, grace gives you access of the things you do not deserve. You don't deserve a nice car. Grace gives you access to it. But mercy prevents you and spares you From the things you well deserve. You deserve to die. But mercy say no. You deserve to be punished. But mercy say no. Somebody lift your hand and say mercy. When you do not have a leg. On which to stand. Remember. His mercies are new. Every morning. Mercy. Mercy. The Lord has remembered you. You came all the way from Florida here. But as I saw you, the Lord took me to Jamaica. 
to Donovan. Yeah. And now he brought me back yeah. to America yeah. where your son is in jail yeah. since December. Yeah. You said this is your first time here. Yeah. Have you ever spoken to me before? No. God is doing something in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Even Anisha with two yeah. children cannot get a job. Yeah. Is that your daughter? Yeah. I am seeing her. <laughs> She's trying, but it's not working yeah. out. She want to do beauty things. It's still not yeah. working out. Yeah. Is that correct? It's true. Am I making it up or no, it's true? it's true. It is true. It's true. It's so you have... Oh. <laughs> you cried before. Yeah. 2008. Yeah. You cried over yeah. a child. Yeah. Your child died. Yeah. You had a child who died. Yeah. I am seeing 2008 and I'm seeing a 28 year old yeah. who died. That is your son, yeah, O'Neill. <laughs> your second son, O'Neill. Yeah. O'Neill is your second son. Yeah. He had problems. No. Yeah. I can see he had kidney problems. Yeah. But it was HIV that killed yeah. your son. Do you know that? Oh God. Oh. Today is your day of freedom. Stand up, stretch your hands. God is here. God is here. God is here. He loves you. He heard your cries. Oh God. I am praying for you. I'm praying for all your children. Your surviving children. I am praying for Award. Yes. Award. Yes. I'm praying for Award's wife. Yes. I'm praying for Award's children. Yes. Oh, thank you. I am praying for your daughter. Yes. I'm praying for your son. Yes. And Nietzsche has two children, no marriage. Yes. But God is changing it. Oh, God. God is changing it. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. As I'm praying for her, may she represent spiritually for you a point of contact. That the same miracle that is happening here may happen to you too. Zotorobo sete. Sete rekata. Shata. Soto Robo Sete. Never the same. My daughter Annie, all the way from Belgium, follow me. Lift your hand and wave it to Jesus. There is nothing he cannot do. Son, please come. What are you doing now? I'm working. You are working? Yeah, sure, Papa. Yeah, but what are you doing? Still the same work? Yeah, still the same work. The same work. You've been in my office before? Yes, twice. Twice? For the TV ministry? Exactly. And you spoke to me about your job? Yes. And you told me you're not married? Yes. Did you get married now? Not yet. Not yet. No. Yes. Okay. What did I tell you? You said you will come and testify. I said you will come to testify. Yes. To testify over marriage, over what? He said everything. You come and testify everything. I told you. So work is still the same work? Yes. Marriage is still not there. It's not there. Is there anybody in your life? 
Not yet. Not yet. Yes. All right. Still nobody. No bad. How was winter? <laughs> All right. This is just to, to make you good. Marriage is not just for winter, isn't it? Yes. Because you use the eater, I know. <laughs> All right. So all those people here, you didn't find anybody. You're looking for my trouble, you. And he give me your hand. May the Lord serve bless you, my daughter. May the prophetic grace of God flow through you. I release that grace over you, Annie. You'll go back to Belgium full of grace and full of power. Bless you, Jesus. Take it! Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Zotoro Boshi Arababo Soto What God has for you No one will take it away from you The miracle that the Lord has for you Keep those photos up I'm seeing it And I'm seeing what God is doing Rama Mazere Mashoto I'm thankful that you're not throwing yourself to me. I'm sincerely thankful. And I love you for that. Zotoroboshia. Remain in the spirit of prayer. You there? Come. Yes. Come, let me lay hands on you. You together. You are together. Please come also. It doesn't matter who I'm calling, who I'm praying for. You may be here and you say, is he going to call me? Please know, God knows you by name. And that you have come to the well of God. You are receiving from him today. By fire, by force in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a, a heart of prayer. But things are very tough with you. You are here, but it's like a here. I see India, I see South Africa. I see India, I see South Africa. It's like your family is not here. Yes. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I'm just in India. It's alone. He's alone. He's alone. He's alone. He's alone here. He's alone here. Yeah. You know him. Yeah, last uh, uh, one and a half months back, I met him. One year? One and a half month back, I met him. One and a half month back, you met him. Yeah. So you are alone here. Your, your family, his family is in, there. In Kerala. Can you speak English? No, little. Uh, he, can he, speak. he can speak a little bit. Yeah, little bit. You speak Hindi. English, yes. But you speak Hindi. Yes. I also speak Hindi only on Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> on Monday we we'll speak Hindi, but on Sunday is difficult. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. Right. I, I want to pray for you that God may open a door. Yes. So you met. You cry. You have tears. Your yeah. tears. Are your tears for him or for yourself? Myself even. For yourself. And also okay. him. Okay, come, come. Since your tears are for yourself, lift your hand. Hear me. 
Your stories are almost the same. Yes, Pastor. You are also here, Lord. Yes. I am seeing Jody. Who oh, Jesus? Jody. Uh, Jody. Yeah. yeah. She's back in India. Yeah, yes, Pastor. And, and you want your family to be here. But documents are not helping you. Things are tough here. Yeah. I am seeing a young girl, a daughter. Hepsibah. Hepsibah. Yeah. Hepsibah is your daughter. Yes, Pastor. Hepsibah is still there. And you are trusting that your family. Yes, Pastor. But I'm not seeing you in Johannesburg. I'm seeing you in Amastra. Yeah, I was going to have a ministry. You have a ministry in Amastra. So... Though you came for him, you met only a month and a half ago. Yeah. And your tears has nothing to do with him. You have your own battles. From the time of John the Baptist till today, the kingdom of God suffers violent and the violent... It is well. Ministry is tough, but the Lord yeah. called you. Yes, Pastor. The Lord called you. Yes. And through you, God will touch lives. Son, come, come, come. Through you, God will touch lives. Yes, there will be a lot of changes that will take place yes, through your ministry. Yes. Right now, it's small. You're trying here, you're trying there, gathering people. It is very neglectable. Yeah. But don't worry. Okay, Master. My name is Alf Lokau. I know, Master. <laughs> Three months back, I came here, Master. All the way from UK, Mr. Brother Monsi. He only told me, Murugeshan, you do know Alf Lukau? Then I said, I don't know. He came from UK to my house to stay with me three days. Then at that time only I came here. So say it again. You had a friend that came from the UK to UK. come to Hallelujah Ministries. And he's the one who introduced you to AMI. Yeah. And he asked you, do you know Alf Lukau? Yeah, I, do. I said, I don't know. You know, AMI, I don't know, I said so you don't know Africa, you didn't know AMI. Yeah, my, so he introduced you. You say you do not know. Yeah. And he brought you to church. Yes. That was three months ago. Yeah. Two, two months ago. Two months ago. Yeah. All right. And uh, now he's gone. You start he's coming. He's gone back. Yeah. He's you start gone coming. Back. Yeah. The first day I came here, Pastor, I met you. I told my wife even. I saw in the practically in the angel of God. The same day I was looking after all YouTube, even I'm sleeping at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, all the miracles. I'm talking to, I'm a Namaskaral. I am son of Alf Luka. I'm preaching. I told my friends even in, uh, in Namaskaral, I'm taking the power and I'm coming to there at 1 o'clock. <laughs> to I, give, I told today one of the great brother Moses, I want to bring my three small churches people here. I want to sit they want to get on it and they want to spread it to all Amaskaral people. Wow. <laughs> Lift your hand. Lift your hand so stand here. I pray for you. May his grace and his power be on you. I release the grace of God over you. May you never be the same again. Zarabagur. Sharababoko to Robosea Zata Rakata Moto Shorobosete. May the Lord I serve meet you at the point of your needs. A decree.
Yes. Man. Yes. For how long have you been in AMI? Um, since 2016. Since 2016. Yes. Since when do you know him? Uh, mm. Since last year. Since last year. Is he a good man to you? Uh, I wouldn't know. We don't talk that much. You don't talk? No. So it happens that you talk? Once or twice. Sometimes. When you meet in church or on the phone? Uh, both. So you have his number? Come, my son. Do you have a number? Yes, I do have. Have you ever spoken to me? No. You have never spoken to me before? I have never. But uh, you spoke to me twice because I called you. Yes. And I asked you about your work. Yes. And you say the same work. It's true. Did you tell me about anybody? No. But here, power went off. <laughs> the devil said, don't see. Just pass. But the devil is a liar. How is it that you have a number? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and when you speak, what do you talk about? <laughs> so you say, you talk not that much. Yes. But you say, it does not, you do not know if he's a good man or bad man. Yes, you don't know. know. I don't know. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Don't be afraid. Who am I to you? My spiritual father. Who am father. I to you? My spiritual father. Do you trust me? With my life. Do you love me? Yes, I do. Who am I to you? You are my father. Do you love me? Very much, Papa. Do you trust me? I trust you, Papa. Hey! It is done! Hear me. There is a liking in your heart for her. There is a liking in your heart for her. But hear me, hear me, hear me. I'm leaving it here. All I'm asking you, after here, go for lunch. Hallelujah. May you receive your miracle. What is yours may manifest in your life today in the name of Jesus. Hear me. If they told you you will never see a miracle, come to Hallelujah Ministries. If they told you you will die before your time, come to Hallelujah Ministries. There is a pregnant woman here, five month pregnant. There is a, a, a five month pregnant. I'm hearing, God is telling me, there is a five, five month pregnant woman here. Manifest yourself. Where is she? I can't see. Will you move? Is it you? You're pregnant. You're five month pregnant. Yes. <laughs> Jesus, do you come to church here? No, it's my second day. I came here on Friday. It's your second day? Yes. So you don't come here? This is your second time? Yes. But this, this will not be the, the last time, right? Yes. Is that true? Yes. With whom do you, did you come? How I, did you get here? 
Uh, How did you come? I came by taxi. With whom? With this lady. Which lady? Sandra. Sandra? Yes. That lady? Yes. Who's that lady to you? We are working together. You are working together? Yes. With her? Yes. Come the two of you. Lift your hands, say, Lord. I claim my miracle today. They want you dead. They want you dead. Are you hearing me? They want you dead. But God is saying, He wants you to live, He doesn't want you to die. As I stretch my hands toward all of you, May the grace and the power of God be your portion. I am counting till three. It falls on you. One, two, three. Take it! Take it! Come here. You see, the devil is evil, is bad. We gotta break the yoke of the enemy. This man is suffering. The diagnosed we with a disease, cancer. Yes. The di diagnosed we with cancer. Yes. And then you keep on going to the hospital. Yes. Because I am seeing you going this Thursday again. Yes. Yes, mean what? You're I'm planning going to, to go to the hospital on, on next next week. You're going 20th. to the hospital this week that is starting. Today is Sunday. I see you going there, but the doctor will tell you that uh, instead of getting better, it's getting worse. Because you often go and stay there and come back in and out. They say your stomach, your lungs your body which is the temple of the holy spirit but cancer like a monster is eating you inside are you married are yes. you married no i i have my wife do you have a wife yes but i'm not married Victoria. okay so you you have a way to have a wife without getting married to her. You are very good. Where, where, is, the, where is she? Where is she? She's here. Call her. Ladies. You, you know this man? Yeah, I know him. Who is he to you? He's my boyfriend. Oh. All right, he's your boyfriend. <laughs> All right, it's fine. I'm praying for your boyfriend. He's sick, right? Yeah, he's sick. He's sick. Do you believe if you pray, God will heal him? Yeah, I believe. You believe? I believe. Do you come a lot in this church? No, I come Fridays twice now. But the, and you? You come here often, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. He comes here often. He said, the wife said, or the girlfriend says, you see, sickness is not our portion. Sickness is painful. But there is a provision on the cross. The Bible says, if the spirit of he who raised Christ from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead 
will also vitalize your motor body. I want you to stretch your hand as I pray for this man. Are you in a taxi industry? Do you have taxis or yes, something? You yes, have a taxi? Yes. Now you are not driving anymore? No. I'm you not have driving. given it to someone else? Because I'm going to, a, to the hospital. Because of the hospital in and yes, out? Yes, yes. So you can't run your own business anymore? No. Is there anybody taking care of your business now? No. So just to sometimes he, when the driver is coming, he try to do the business, but the um, I have no, because I'm sick. All right. So you mean sometime, not permanently, yes. meaning business is not going as usual because you can't do it by yourself. Hear me. Jesus loves you. This is not your portion. See, your stomach, cancer is spreading. Cancer is spreading. But Jesus can stop it. You, you don't have cancer, but your stomach goes big and small. It swallows and goes down. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, it's true. Don't say it's true because I'm saying it. Is it really true? Really true. Really true. Sometimes it swallows and it comes because you are sharing the same battle, the same attack. To him, for a year now, it's coming like cancer. But you, it goes big, it goes small. That devil is leaving both of you now in the name of G. Stretch your hands toward them. Rakata sete. Shete rebe konto. Zoto robo soto kobo shete. Sheketa. Bozete. The other ladies. Eh Yahweh, Eh Yahweh, Kumbama, Eh Yahweh. Oh, Eh Yahweh, Eh Yahweh. All right, you are pregnant. Yes. You are pregnant. Yes, five months. You are five months pregnant. Yes. And they say they are paying Lobola. Yes. In September. Next month. On the 23rd of September. Yes. Richard is coming with his family. Yes. Is that true? Yes, 100% true. <laughs> yes. She, she is a blessing. And you have a big heart. You have a big heart for everyone. You want everybody to be well. Yeah, it's true. I'm seeing you dressed like, it's like a nurse who's here trying to help and, and God is saying the same heart he has given you through which you've been helping others. Amen. It will bring blessings. Amen. You are a nurse. Yes. You are a nurse. I am praying for your womb and your baby. Five months. Number five is number of grace. Number five, five months pregnant. I'm praying that God may bless your child. But even as I'm here praying for your child, I am seeing you praying for somebody else. It's like you're praying for a loved one, an uncle or somebody, somebody who's sick. It's my uncle. He's having a stroke uh, like 2016 he was having a stroke in Left One hand. side. Now is the on the other side. Yes. So he has double stroke now. Yes. So I am praying for this, but you are praying for your uncle yes. because of your heart. Yes. And the two of you came together. Yes, sir. And uh, you called her Sandra. Yes. Is that your name? Yes, sir. Your name is Sandra. Sandra. 
Sandra. Yes, sir. Same words up to Sandra. God will do a lot with you, Sandra. Amen. I'm seeing you. I don't know if it's a rehab or so. You are there as a facilitator. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. In Mahalisburg. Yes, sir. You're in Mahalisburg. Yes, sir. As a facilitator. Yes, sir. But there are things that God wants to rectify in your life. If God will rectify it, you'll be stable in a relationship and you will have your door open because right now, it's never stable. Yes, sir. You feel cheated all the time. You feel abused. You feel taken advantage of. You feel undermined. Is that correct? Yes, sir. This is the plan of the enemy, but God is changing it. Amen. Hear me. What you are doing now is good for now, but I am seeing you away from just the rehab where you are. I am seeing you in properties. God is bringing you into properties. God is moving you into business. I see you playing a big role in property. Do you love properties? <laughs> I'm starting a construction now. You are starting a construction company. I want to think I need sign. Every time when I want to start the construction, money is growing. I, I, I bought a land. So I've been looking for builders. All of them are asking a heavy price. I can't afford it. It's wow. The Lord will bless you. You are from the two of you working in Mahalisburg. Yes. But I'm seeing the Northwest. I'm seeing Mafikeng or Mahikeng. I'm seeing a place like a village. Motswana. Motswana. And it's where I come from. Is that where you come from? Yes, sir. Is that your village? Muswana, I was staying in Mafikeng, but I'm originally from Muswana. If God is speaking to me from where you come from, where your umbilical cord is, I'm here to say, it is done with you. It is done. Everybody stretch your hands. I bless you. I bless you. Come, keep up a good word. It is well with you. Zata rakata. Soto rekata kete sete. Lift your hand. Everybody stand up. May I please ask my pastors, go to the overflow. Overflow. Or in the next five minutes. I'll release you in five minutes, then we'll go to the next service. Can I do this? Lift your hands. Let me just touch one or two people in the overflow. Please be praying. Be prayerful. Is there anybody who wants Jesus in this place? Is there anybody who wants Jesus in this place? Somebody is about to receive a triple miracle. A triple miracle. A triple miracle. A triple miracle. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Begin to receive it now. Begin to receive it now. As I begin to receive it now, in the name of Jesus, begin to receive. Begin to receive it. It's your portion. It's yours. Lift your hand and pray for you. Lift your hand and receive what God has in store for you. The breakthrough of the Lord. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Sharababo zete reketa. Everybody pray. Speak to God. Pray. Speak to God. Your healing, your miracle, your deliverance. There he goes. Rakata sete. Bring him up. Rabababa. Praise. Receive your healing. 
Receive your healing. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Totally yours. Pray, speak to God and receive what is yours. It's yours. Take it by faith. Decide, lift your hands. Lift your hand, it's yours. Receive it now. 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 Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Something is happening here. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? At the count of three to come to you. One, two, three. Take it! 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 It's the grace. It's the power God. It's the grace. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. You want it? You want it? Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! There it goes! 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 Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! Receive the grace of God. What only God can give. Take it! There he goes. Are you ready for it? Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Jesus. Baraba zeterebe Santa. I release the grace of God over you. I release the grace of God over you. Take it. Take it. Jesus. Something is happening to you. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? At the count of three, catch it. If you catch it, it's yours. One, two, three. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Take it. Sata rakata. In the name of Jesus. It's yours, it's yours, it's yours, it's yours, it's yours. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it, it's yours. Rakatatata. Never the same. Never the same. Never the same. Never the same. Healed you all. Healed, healed. Sharababo. Zete Rekata. Your time has come. Your time is now. Your time is now. There it goes. Receive it.
For you, I speak freedom, 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 free. your hands say I receive say what is mine I receive it now in Jesus name say I am a winner say I am a winner say I always win I never lose say greater is he that is in me than he who is in this world Say, so from this day forward, I shall walk in victory. Say, so total victory in my life. In the name of Jesus. Now, before I leave, lift your hand as high as you can. Do nothing but thank God for your miracle has been sealed. Thank him. Thank him. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we honor you. Speak to him. Speak to him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, for your grace. We thank you, mighty Heavenly Father, for your mercies, O oh God, that are renewed every morning. Dear Father God, we thank you, O oh God, for your hand, O oh mighty God, your healing hand. We thank you, O oh Lord Jesus, for all that you have done for us today. For healing, O oh God, for the lames that are walking right now. Lord, for the sick that are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear Father God, thank you, O oh Lord. For you are a true and living God. You are a God who answers prayer. We praise your name, O oh Lord. We glorify your name, O oh Lord Jesus. We give praise unto you, O oh God. For you are worthy, mighty Jesus. You are worthy, God, of all praise. You are worthy, O oh Lord, of all honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we come before you, O oh God. And we bow up before you, O oh Father. We say unto you, O oh Lord, Yahweh is your name. High is your name, O oh mighty God. You are great, O oh God. We bless you, Jesus. We honor you. As you stand before we close to go to the next service. I thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. I give you glory. Lift your hand, join me. Will I have our third service in a few minutes? Those of you who remain, I remain with you. We'll pray together. We'll break the yoke of the enemy and we'll carry on. As you have your hands up, we thank you, Jesus. We honor you for the many miracles, for the deliverance, for the breakthrough, for all that you have done. We bless you. We bless you, living God. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the first and the last. I worship you, Jesus. I worship you, Lord. I honor you, Jesus. Thank him with your own words. Thank him. 
with your own words, thank him. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you, Lord. We exalt you and we extol you. Thank you for what you have done in the midst of your people, O oh God. Thank you for the many miracles that have taken place and thank you for victory in this place this morning. Thank you, Lord, that we have been declared the winners and the overcomers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we decree and we declare this is our season and we shall see that which you have made happen for us manifest in the name of Jesus. Wherever you find yourself, just lift up your right hand as we decree and we declare the blessings of the Lord over your lives and everything that is associated to you in the name of Jesus. Now, under the grace and the anointing of my spiritual father, Apostle Aflocal, I decree and I declare this coming week, your week of victory, extended victory. I decree blessings on Monday. Your Tuesday's blessed in the name of Jesus. Your Wednesday's blessed in the name of Jesus. Thursday, Friday, you are still blessed in the name of Jesus. Come Saturday and Sunday, blessings of the Lord will overshadow you in every area of your life. So shall it be. It cannot be otherwise. In Jesus' name, somebody say amen. Put your hands together. We'll love you. Bless you.